Hello and what's up everybody, this is Plot Fencer talking. Welcome back to another one of my beautiful vlogs with my mess of a living room in the background. Anyway, so general news. Uh, I haven't I haven't done one of these in a while. I just kind of didn't feel like sitting in front of a camera and just talking into it. I had much more fun with my um with my let's plays lately. And one of the reasons is I finally kind of got a solution for my headache situation. Uh, if you remember, I, I went to an endocrinologist and a bunch of other doctors to try and figure out where these headaches come from and trying to solve them and nothing worked. And about two weeks ago I had an appointment with a neurologist and we did some tests and he thinks it's mostly just a muscular muscular tension caused kind of head pain. Uh, it, it might also be eye strain, so I got an appointment for an eye doctor, and we'll see how that works out. I personally, I kind of hope there's a very tiny, small chance that I might get glasses, and I've always wanted to wear glasses. I curse my perfect eyesight, my perfect 2020 vision. <clears throat> but maybe, maybe I finally get a pair of glasses. Anyway, so my neurologist, um, he gave me a bunch of his instructions on how to get rid of these pains. So um, mostly I just have to try and get my, I have to get my muscles to relax more than they currently do which is like not at all um i i kind of wish he had prescript prescribed me some some massage therapy because i've never had a massage in my entire life like I, not a professional one at least i had massages from friends but that, that just kind of it's just kind of awkward um so uh, he gave me these. He gave me. He gave me these like um, little exercises you can do to uh, to ease the tension in your muscles, where you just like sit in your sit around very very comfortably, and you you go through through each group of muscles in your body, and you tense them for a couple seconds. Then you let go, and then everything is nice and relaxed, and it's been working wonders. And coupled with that, I'm also to do, uh, supposed to do light exercises like jogging, cycling, or swimming and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's been working pretty well. And he also gave me, he also prescribed me some medicine. Well, he prescribed me medicine, and he gave, he told me to take some, uh, to get some additional magnesium into my body, and for that purpose. For that purpose, I've bought this. Yeah, I think you can read it. Diasporal. It's a granulate which you just you pour it into a cup, then you pour some cold water on top, and it gets nice and fizzy. It tastes like orange juice, which is or actually more like some sort of orange soda. But it's really fucking tasty, so I don't even mind taking it, and it's kind of kind of a medicine um, because what I didn't know before is magnesium is actually very important for your muscles if you don't have enough magnesium in your body your your muscles just really tense up and um, it's kind of weird because I never had I never had issues with like malnutrition but apparently I don't have quite enough magnesium in my body who knew who knew um, he also prescribed me, oh, oh god, no, don't, close it up, close it up, um, this stuff, this stuff, amitriptyline beta 10, it's, uh, it's a painkiller of sorts, which just, well, it eases the, it eases the pain of my headaches, it makes you sleepy, so I sleep very well at night, I've been sleeping really, really fucking awesomely lately. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird is I, I also get a lot of weird dreams from it. So that's kind of disturbing, but it's not. 
It's not like murder fantasy dreams or anything, it's just like really weird garbled crap. But sleeping, really nice. Um, it also has a very mild antidepressant effect. So I've been, I've been feeling kind of very happy-go-lucky lately. <laughs> Uh, except for a couple of days ago in, in uh, at the university in class we had like uh, we had like this very deep philosophical question and it was really bringing me down uh, I was I really wanted to leave a room at that point but I didn't and I felt bad for the rest of the day <laughs> uh, but I slept really well that night as well uh, but yeah that's been that's been that's been a little update on my current health situation. A um, few things about my channel. I have given up on the Bloodborne Let's Play just for now because... Well, the thing is, for a first playthrough, it wasn't really that entertaining because I already knew about the game. I already knew a lot about the st a lot of stuff about the game because I was, I was watching... Ian B on YouTube, I, I absolutely love him. Ever since he did Dark Souls on his channel, I, I've been watching him. And he's fantastic. He's such a great player, and he also worked on the strategy guide for Dark Souls Two. Not for not for the first one, I think, but for Dark Souls Two, they had him write a section in the in the official strategy guide, and he's just a really awesome dude. So. I, I couldn't stay away from I couldn't I just couldn't stay away from the videos and it did, it really didn't help that Black Warren got released a week or so earlier for him I don't know uh, but yeah so I, I knew way too much about the game when I started let's playing it and but I didn't on the other hand I didn't know enough about the game to make a professional playthrough so it was just kind of it was an amateur. It was an amateur playing a game with a lot of with a lot of insight and knowledge, prior knowledge, so it wasn't that good. Uh, instead, I'm continuing um, my let's play of The Fall. Very nice game. I absolutely love it. And I'm also trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter now. Now, there are some games where I feel that longer episodes have their merits like for example for alien isolation i still keep it around 30 minutes long because otherwise otherwise we wouldn't get through those sections where i just get killed over and over again by the fucking xenomorph <sighs> that just happened <laughs> last week's episode <laughs> last week's episode was such a thrill if you haven't watched it yet i'm gonna put it up i'm gonna put it up I can't. I can't gesture. I can't properly gesture um, a box. That would actually cover my face. That's covered by the microphone. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right here. I'm probably not gonna put it right there. Maybe I will. I will. I would have to find the section um, during the YouTube editing. Oh, you know where you can add like. Um, Oh, where well you can add like little notes and stuff and links and hyperlinks and blah 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 blah. Sorry, I'm I'm rambling now. <laughs> but la last Monday was really was a really awesome episode because I was thanks to my medication I was in such a great mood and for the first time ever I actually got scared by the fucking xenomorph. At one point I was hiding in a ventilation shaft. And the thing came in to the ventilation shop. And I didn't know they could actually do that. And I was just screaming. <laughs> oh, this is... This is the first time in ages that I feel glad to be alive. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, Alien Isolation is still going to be 30 minutes. But I'm going to try to keep everything else at about 20. Which... Is still pretty long for most people, but it shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem. I I don't know how people like like the game grumps, Danny and and Aaron actually get actually manage to put so much comedy into just ten minutes of video. It's amazing. Well, they 
they do they do have the advantage of having been to a impro improvisation class before and they also have the <laughs> they also have the advantage of being two of them I actually want to try to get some of my friends on board with these with these um, let's plays and I might even want to try a little thing with my theater group where I'm um, at university for the English seminar I'm in a theater group um, not as an actor but because they want to start a podcast at some time and I've got a little bit of experience with podcasts because I'm working for PK also known as Purple Cacleon, Purple Cacleon also known as Melanie Herring um, if you don't know about them search for them on Google they're an absolutely awesome artist they prefer they prefer um, neutral pronouns rather than gendered ones you know how it is um i i just i'm just respecting that um and yeah i'm doing a podcast for their for their little project but it's actually not a little project because they're devoting their entire life to art and this one project that they are working on uh, and it's it's just a just amazing you gotta check it out um it's called flora flora verse like universe with flora in front uh it's absolutely amazing so all right last thing on my agenda for today this video is already 11 minutes long i didn't expect the vlog to go on for that long so what i got right here is a package it's a package from um, America. I had to I had to order it from America because the thing that's inside here is not available in Germany. Absolutely fucking not. And I actually wanted to do this vlog as soon as the package arrives arrived. I have been, I had been waiting for two weeks to get this. Two weeks. And once it got here, I was like. No, I don't feel like opening it. This has been sitting around in my in my apartment for a week. And I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it on camera. Anyway. Knife. Gotta be careful. These are my uh, fancy kitchen knives. They are super sharp. All right. <laughs> it's for split. Oh man, there, there was a lot of reflection going on. It's for Splatoon Amiibo Triple Pack. Ah. Oh yeah, I get a good look at that. These things are not available in Germany. Um, well, the the um, the amiibos themselves were, but in a very limited number. Like, um, you pretty much had to pick them up the day the game came out, which I didn't. <laughs> and the green squid, you could only get you could only get this cre the green squid with a limited edition of Splatoon, and then you had to buy the other two, the girl, the girl and the boy. <laughs> you had to buy them separately. And I actually bought this from America, from an American store, through Amazon, and it cost me a lot of money. It was like double the price of what they're actually worth. But, you know, like, it's international shipping, so usually people ask for $20 extra for international shipping. So that's 20 and I then it's another 20 on top of that. So I paid, I paid... 1.5 times the usual price for this and I am actually I'm actually debating with myself right now whether I should open these up and use them for the game because I want to unlock the shit that you can get with them or if I should just if I should get just keep it closed because these are so these are worth so much I like I mean I'm never going to sell them I'm never going to sell this but but I don't know, it would just... It would be the first collector's item I kept in absolute pristine edition. Um, a condition. Condition, not edition. I just absolutely love this. Also, I was expecting them to be kind of shoddy and really derpy, but these are extremely well made. 
like the paint the paint the paint job is just absolutely amazing on these oh my god they got little ink splotches on their feet i don't know can you can you yeah you can actually see it oh, oh i really don't know if i should open these should i should i should i should i do it right now no tell you what i'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it. And also that's that's another announcement I wanted to make. I'm I do kinda wanna make a Splatoon Let's Play. I haven't touched the game in a little while, so I'm getting a bit jittery. I'm I need to get my Splatoon fix soon. Um I'm currently level fifteen and I kinda wanna do a series where you accompany me accompany me on the road to level twenty, which is just a skip of the jump now. It should still take pretty long because you need a lot of experience points to get to level 20 but it's still it, it's not as long as if i had started from level one <sighs> and i'll i'll do a little bit of regular play gameplay which is where you get the least amount of the least amount of uh, experience experience for any given game um or and i'm also going to do a little bit of ranked because i tried out ra the ranked gameplay and it's actually pretty fucking awesome if you got a good team and it's a high risk but also high reward because you get so much xp from that <laughs> oh anyway um this has been going on for way too long um i apologize for for talking for so long also i realize that these that these videos are never really that good of a quality i don't know what's going on maybe it's the recording process or it's the it's the it's the uh the compression afterwards i don't know but i i i realize that the that this is not very well made um i might actually have to i might actually have to use my my camcorder in the future i want to buy um i don't have a tripod for this thing i really need a tripod for this thing and then i can just I couldn't put it right right there in front of my TV and then I could sit on the couch and that's that that would actually be really awesome. I also need a bigger um, a bigger SD card for this. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode uh, this episode. This isn't an episode. This is not a series. Thanks for watching this this vlog video. And have a nice day. Enjoy your lives and until next time. Goodbye.